came to rob and steal and to kill. Oh, God, we thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, we coming in tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Not as busybody, but we coming in and expecting our glory to God to be able to be received by the teaching on the Bible study night. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, oh God. That we, Lord, to God, will cut it all with joy. Hallelujah. And not robbery to be able to study, to show ourselves approval unto God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In that word of God, we won't have to be ashamed. Hallelujah, how to rightly divide that word of God. The devil wants to call on that name, Jesus. Hallelujah. But Jesus, we thank you for the wisdom and knowledge and understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Glory to God, Father, for your divine purpose. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This thing is about hallelujah. Glory to God. With money. Hallelujah. But glory to God. This thing is about souls. Hallelujah. The kingdom work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must have wisdom and knowledge and understanding for the kingdom of God. For the purpose of the kingdom. Hallelujah. The kingdom work. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody give you the here. Hallelujah. Good news of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Uh, hallelujah, we live up apostle by the name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah, thank God for the celebration of Apostle Willie Bowden today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, it's a nice thing to hallelujah be able to look back. Uh, hallelujah, glory to God. And look at hallelujah, glory to God. Where, hallelujah, where her nose, the hallelujah. I stood in the forefront, hallelujah. Made way, stood up for God, hallelujah. On our behalf, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Lay the lines on the line for souls. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Greater love. Hallelujah. That no man than this. Hallelujah. That Jesus laid down his life for us. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said, Tell me no. Go to the hills and the highways. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tell somebody about Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the streets. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And we thank you, Father God. Oversee our Apostle Willie Bolger and Patsy Bolger and the Board of Hemorrhage, God, that are praying for us, God, Apostle Christ, and St. Madison, hallelujah. Jonathan and Michelle, praise God, and I praise that back of members, hallelujah. We are so grateful, hallelujah, for those that have such a love and members, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, that will hallelujah have a heart. Glory to God that want to know more and more about Jesus, hallelujah. We don't have time to pray. We don't have time to pray. We don't have time to pray. These people love God. These people hearts want to do the right thing for God. Hallelujah. We thank God for sending their members in here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Help us, oh God, to be strong in the Lord and be able to feed them. Hallelujah. And teach them. Hallelujah. Bring them up in the nurture and hallelujah. Ammunition of God. In the name of Jesus, for us being an example. Hallelujah. Glory to God that they will be pleased. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, have us as leaders in the name of Jesus. Uh, and I'll be thankful for your Holy Spirit, oh glory to God. Uh, hallelujah, how you move by this power, how you move by your spirit up in here. And we are grateful, oh God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Uh, glory to God, praise the Lord, Son, God bless you. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord, oh, I so I Drunk them for the night, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Praise you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, God. Nobody greater but Lord. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For raising up in our spirit, God. And Christ is risen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's not dead. Hallelujah. Lord, oh, hallelujah. Give us that holy boldness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The chiefs tonight. Hallelujah. In the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit bound up in our teacher. Hallelujah, glory to God, and be glad. Hallelujah. But the word I say, the word I say to all, he's not, Jesus is not partiality. Hallelujah, glory to God. He wants all of us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God. Now the saints has got to be. Hallelujah, it must be. It has to be the whole armor. Hallelujah, so we can fight against the spiritualities and spiritual weakness and high places. Hallelujah, we can't let them up. 
God. That word God is alive. And I will tell you, that word of God is real. It's real, real, real. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. God ain't dead. He's still alive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
Oh, come on, saints. God, we thank you. God, we praise you. God, we honor you. We excel you. We bless your holy and matchless name. For you alone are worthy to be praised. And God, we just thank you on tonight. God, we praise you on tonight. God, we worship you on tonight. In the name of Jesus. God, we just thank you on today for this day that we've never seen before. God, we thank you, Lord, that you brought us to this appointed time. Because we couldn't have made it here today. It wasn't for your grace and mercy. We couldn't have made it. We wouldn't have made it here without his grace and mercy. Hallelujah. If it wasn't for your grace and your mercy, we wouldn't be here. But God, we thank you because you allowed us the opportunity to make it. Good God, somebody lost their life on today. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, there's been tornadoes in Texas and, uh, and, 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 and in different parts of the world. I want to say the other part of the world is New Orleans, what I, of what I heard. Amen. The Bible lets us know that there are these storms in diverse places. And we don't take it for granted. Hallelujah. We don't take it for granted. Because it could have been us. It could have been us. And God, we just thank you. But all of that, not only do we thank you for it not being us, but we pray for those that families have, 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 have been affected. Yeah, we pray for those families that, that have lost loved ones. In the name of Jesus, uh, because the book of Matthew chapter 24 talks about how this, this is the beginning of sorrows. Uh, and so God, we decree and declare that there is a Savior. Uh, there is uh, a Savior. There is uh, a lover of our soul. There is somebody uh, that is willing to stand up for the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, no matter what, no matter how we feel, uh, we stand for in the name of he is Christ, the risen Savior. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And God, we bless your name on today. God, we honor you. God, we install you. God, we magnify you. We glorify you. There is nobody like you. In the name of Jesus. God, we just bless your name. The earth is lost in the fullness thereof. And God, we just praise you. God, we exalt you. God, we magnify you and glorify you. For you alone are worthy to be praised. And God, we praise you. God, to say, God, clean us up from the inside out. God, make us new on every wicked area. Every area in our lives that need to be straightened out, God. God, straighten it out in the name of God. So poor. In the name of Jesus. Every area in our lives that need to be straightened out. Every area in our lives that need to be touched. Every Because Paul said it best, uh, he said, for I press the Lord to mark uh, for the prize of the higher calling, uh, that is in Christ Jesus. Uh, we press on tonight. Uh, there, is, uh, there, is, uh, so, uh, there is a pressing in my spirit. Uh, there is a pressing. Uh, we press on tonight. Uh, press on beyond how we feel. Uh, we press beyond how we feel. Uh, we press beyond uh, pain in our body. Uh, we press beyond. For allowing us to keep going, even when we don't want to keep going at times. Uh, we thank you, Lord, that we keep going, uh, that we won't stop moving, uh, that we won't get tired, uh, because it's in you that we live, move, and have our being. Uh, and so, God, we thank you. Uh, you're the reason why we breathe. Uh, you're the reason why we're still in the move. Uh, you're the reason why we even exist. Uh, and so, God, we bless you all tonight. Uh, God, we praise you on tonight. God, we honor you on tonight. God, we give your name all the glory, honor, and praise that is to your name. In the name of Jesus. God, you said in your word that you said in your word that you inhabit the praise of your people. And so, God, we lift up our voice. We lift up 
It's time to stand. Stand boldly. Stand boldly. Stand boldly. On the word of God. Stand boldly. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Stand boldly. Oh God, we love you. We love you. We love you. We stand boldly on the word. We stand boldly on the word. Hallelujah. Bless your name. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. Thank you, Lord. And a light unto my path. I don't remember all the words, but that just came to my spirit. Thy word is a lamp unto my Your 
can't wait till the Lord, till the Lord, so the Lord keep on putting in the house. So it's our Look, Mama, I'm here. 
Amen. So let's, let's get right into the word. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you on tonight. God, we thank you. Uh, yes, verse 17. Father, we thank you. We ask you all to uh, open up our minds, our ears, our spirits to what you want us to have to say on tonight. God, we thank you, Lord, that uh, uh, that we would be receptive to what you have to say, that we will get uh, a clear understanding for you, said your word, and all our getting to get an understanding. Amen. And so, God, we thank you, we praise you, and we'll be able to care to give you a name, all the glory, honor, and praise, and do your name in, in Jesus' name. We pray that everybody say, Amen. Amen. Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2, verse 17. So it reads like this, it says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Mm -hmm. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that received, that received it. Now, if we look over here on our screen here in the Message Bible, it says, and I love how I love how they opened up that statement. I love how they opened that up, the word of God. They said, Are your ears awake? Now, uh, this, this, this is Jesus talking. Now, if you guys remember, you, you remember that as I told you before that uh, Jesus says this quite a few times. He says it over and over and over again for us. He says over and over again, he that have an ear and hear, yes. let him hear. Yeah. So in other words, he, 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 he's, he, he keeps checking. He keeps checking and making sure, are your ears keen? Do you hear what he's saying? Yes. Uh, 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 have your, are, are your ears turned on? Oh, come on. I know y'all know what I mean by that. In other words, uh, whenever you speak to your children and, 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 you, and you're trying to get a point across to them and you can tell by a look on their face that a now word, not, not, not another words, but not now word is getting through. You can tell by, and you can really tell by what they do after you say it. Oh, God, y'all have to catch that. Uh, you can tell if the message got through because there was supposed to be a certain response after you heard what was said. Oh, that's going to make a lot of sense in a few minutes. Uh, 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 but are your ears awake? Are your ears awake? Uh, next thing he says is, uh, uh, and, and just in case you want to know why I'm asking if your ears awake, listen. I just, that's a listen. I, I don't want you to have so much to say. I don't want you to be trying to think of what you think I'm trying to say. No, I'm making a good point here. Because a lot of times, one thing I come to find out, Sister Mia, is that sometimes we know we hear God talking, but then we'll override what we heard him say and be like, well, maybe you want me to do it like, okay, come here, Sarah. Uh, God never told you to get the handmade. No, 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 no. See, our problem is, saints, is that we hear God speaking clearly. A lot of times, we hear God speaking clearly, but the thing is, you have to wait. Somebody say wait. Wait. You got to wait for that understanding. Okay. Wait to make sure that what you're hearing, these are the, why am I, why am I here? You got to make sure that what you're hearing, you got to make sure you're hearing the clear. He asked me that for a second. Amen. We got to make sure that what we're hearing him say, yes. say amen. amen. We got to make sure that we're not adding to That's or taking, I'm using my word, oh, yeah. that we're not adding to or taking from the word of God. That's right. That's right, man. Listen. Yes. Make sure you heard. Yes. Yes. Make sure that what you heard him say is clear and if you did not understand it, ask. Lord, is this what you meant by this? Yes. yes. Listen to the wind words. In other words, we dealt with that a couple of times. In other words, wind is also translated as spirit. Mm -hmm. Listen to the wind words. Listen to what he's saying. And just to make it, that's what I was saying. Listen to the wind words. The spirit. Mm -hmm. 
blowing through the churches. In other words, what God is saying, this ain't just being preached in our house. I'm, this is a good point right here. This is a good point right here. In other words, this is a, I'll say it like this. For those that are actually following Christ, yeah, I, I gotta go as far as to say that. Those that are following Christ, you will know that this is the time that we need to make sure that what we're hearing him say, that we're abiding by the exact instructions. When he said to do it, how he said to do it. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for taking it there. Come here, Noah. Noah couldn't just get up and build an ark. You all understand what I'm saying? But Noah had to make sure, God, I need to make sure this is what you're telling me to do. He told him to build it this high, this wide, this long. Say amen. We need to make sure not only are we identifying who we hear, Amen. but we need to make sure are we hearing the exact instructions and we must follow to the T. Amen. 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 The will of God, thank you, Lord, he gave me a good statement here. The will of God is already written out. It's already laid out, but it's up to us to just walk in the manifestation. All right, I got to get out of here. He said, I'll give the sacred manner to every conqueror. Uh -huh. In other words, I'll give you my word. I'll give you my instructions. I'll give you me. Yes. To every conqueror, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. Amen. Can we stand and thank God for our apostle as we walk in? Hallelujah. Oh, come on, y'all. Let's clap our hands and thank God for our apostle. Amen. Some may ask, well, why, why does he always ask the people to stand as when he come in? It ain't about him, it's about the God in him. Amen. 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 So, 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 where was that? Where was that? Oh, uh, yeah. He said also, he said, I also give a clear, smooth stone inscribed with your new name. Now, I'm not going to really deal with that too much. I'm not going to really deal with that too much. But in other words, what Jesus is saying is, is that now we could we could we could we could talk about whether it's an actual stone or we could deal with all that, but we're not gonna deal with all that. But the point that I do want to make in this here statement about that stone in verse 17 is this. When I read up on the stone, I, I hear the Holy Spirit allowed me to read something. What he allowed me to see was it's almost like when you're in a relationship. And, thank you, Holy Ghost. It's almost like when you're in a relationship and there's, whenever you are truly in love with somebody, Amen. you're going to give them things that everybody else is not going to get. They're going to know certain things about you that everybody else ain't going to particularly know. Amen. Why do you say that? Because we are in covenant with God. Amen. So what, what is he saying? He's saying that there's going to come a day where I'm going to give you a new name. So how he allowed me to hear it was like this. In other words, it's like when you're in a relationship and you and, 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 and you and you so in love with, with, with who you're with, you, you, you give him a little pet name. Oh, that's my boo. Oh, that's, 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 that's my, uh, I don't know, that's, that's, I don't know what y'all say now. That's my sugar food. My and that's old school. My that's my, that's, that's, that's my sugar food. That, that's, 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 that's baby. I know that's what we say. That, that's baby. That's, that's my baby. That's my boo. That's my boo. Yeah. See, Mother Jackson over there. That's my boo. And that's a, and watch this, that's a name that everybody else ain't got. Yeah. So, in other words, if anybody else that's married or you're in a relationship, I dare you to call somebody else what you're supposed to call your wife. <laughs> go ahead and try. Jesus. I bet you ain't gonna go down the way you think. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I'm gonna give you a new name that shows us how much he's in love with us. That's the only one I want to make there. Amen. He says, and it is gonna be your secret. That just backs up what I just said. It's going to be our little secret. It's going to be between you and God. Jesus. So, uh, 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 your name is Phil, but he may give you another name.
that you ain't never, your mama ain't give you, nobody gave you. But this is showing how close we are with God. Amen. Amen. So, so now he says, okay, new name. Now we're talking to this church. The church, now I'm trying to pronounce his name. Thyteria. Yes, I'm going to do that. To Thyteria. Now we're going to learn about Thyteria tonight. That's not. Did, that sounds that sound like a name that, that sounds like somebody I know. Amen. Amen. It's Thyatira. Thyatira. Yeah, we, we'll go with that. Thyatira. Thyatira. Thyatira? Thyatira? Thyatira. 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 Okay, Thyatira. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I like that. That sounds more professional. Thyatira. Okay. So to the church of Thyatira. Verse 18. Let's look at King James. Verse 18. It says, unto the angel of the church in Thyatira, write, these things said the Son of God, who hath his eyes unto, no, excuse me, who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire, right. and his feet are like fine brass. Now, a lot of times, well, no, I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do that. I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. Say, so minister price be good. Alright. So uh, uh 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 these things right verse 18 again, these things said the Son of God who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. This is just Jesus, this is Jesus describing himself. He's making it very clear on who's talking. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He gave them a description of himself that he knew that they would recognize. Because I did a little research on this particular place. This place here was the way I studied it, it almost sounded to me like New York. This place here was the center of trade. This was a place where uh, 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 most of the business went on. Now again, like I said, these churches are the churches in Asia. This church was a place, I mean, when this, 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 this city, this place was known of where they trade. They, they, a lot of things were made, even in the book of, of, of I pray in front of my mind. And I pray I'm calling out the right scripture too. But in the book of Acts, I want to say, this is where, uh, 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 who was the woman, Pastor Shelby me out. The woman that, she was wearing purple. Lydia, thank you. That's exactly what it is. This is the city that she was in. And this was, this was the place where she got her clothing from. So, so, right, so, all right, I read it, King James. It says, write this to Thyteria, to the angel of the church, God's son, eyes pouring fire blaze, standing on feet of furnace, fire bronze, says this. Verse 19, let's look at it in 19 of King James. It says, I know thy works. I know thy works and charity and service and faith. Amen. I know what you've done. Amen. Jesus. I, 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 I know exactly your heart. One thing that we come to find out, church, is that God is not a God that looks on the outward appearance. But God, hallelujah. But God is a God that looks on the inward of the man. He looks at the heart. Look at somebody and say, this is a heart God we serve. This, this is a heart dog. Yeah. He said in verse 19, he says, I know thy works and charity and service and faith and thy patience and thy works and the last to be more than the first. 19, this is about, it says, I see everything you're doing for me. I see it. Impressive Impressive. Expression. Impressive. Yes. The love and the faith and the service 
and persistence, yes, very impressive. You get better at it every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Your works, you've done well. I've seen your works. It's not in vain. He's encouraging them at first. Somebody say at first. Hallelujah. He's encouraging them. You, you've done well. I see your patience. I, I, I see the good things that you've done. But now, now, now we got to be checked. Amen. Now, now, now we got to get checked. Amen. Now we got to get checked by God. Amen. So look at verse 20. He said, notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee. All right. All right. Amen. I Amen. got a few things against thee. Amen. Because thou, thou suffereth that woman Jezebel, yeah. which calleth herself a prophetess uh-huh. to teach and to seduce my servants. Jesus. And no, and to seduce my servants to commit fornication. Jesus. And to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Jesus. So somebody may, may say, well, what 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 that supposed to be? <laughs> and actually what I'll do, yeah, let's put twenty and twenty through twenty three, we're gonna put all that together. So twenty one it says, and I get and I gave her space to repent of her fornication. Oh. So let me deal with this for a second. Let me let me let me deal with this for just a second. Now, through my study and whatnot, some may say that 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 Jesus is actually talking about Jezebel. Some may say, to put it in simple terms, he's talking about the spirit of Jezebel. Amen. But we can work with it either way. In other words, somebody say, in other words, there is a spirit of confusion. Yes, yes. There is a spirit yes. of deception. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're at Revelation chapter 2, verse 19. Uh, no, we're 20. Or 20, I'm sorry. We're on verse 20. But uh, 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 Jezebel, Jezebel, I'm sorry? Yeah, we so we just read twenty. Yes, sir. So here it is. If you remember, Jezebel, she got in trouble. I'm gonna bring this thing all the way down now. Jezebel got in trouble because she tried. And I need y'all to really hear this. She tried to merge or marry the worship of the true and living God. With the worship of idols. So in other words, if I put this in Latin terms, and somebody may say, well, what they got to do it today? Oh, I going to make a lot of sense in about 30 seconds. In other words, the Bible says to have no other God before thee. So in other words, yo, our worship of other gods, it ain't got to necessarily be a golden image that stand up and we bow out of God. Whatever you put over the things of God. Before, Amen. thank you. Before Amen. him. Amen. So Jezebel, what she 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 messed up a lot of people. Yes. Yes. In this particular place, Amen. she messed up a lot of people because she I, I can't get quiet, I don't want to jump ahead of myself. But what she did was was she 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 came in the church. I got. I got to bring it all the way down. She came in the church and she twisted the minds of the babes. Yes. All right. All right. Yes. Hallelujah. She came after the babes in Christ. See. See. This is why the Bible lets us know to watch out for those wolves and sheep clothing. All right. Amen. 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 Because we ought to be careful about people that want to come and smile in your face and, and, and want to pat you on the back and be like, you know, well, God bless you. You know, God showed up you to you and, and just want to always just, and, and just, you know, they seem so sheep-like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but in all actuality, they have a hidden agenda. Amen. Yeah. In all actuality, they have what, and I can't dig into that thing like I really want to, but in other words, they got the spirit of a bull. Jesus. I, I, oh, if I could really deal with that. I 
because that's really a thing now. I, I didn't just come over that top of my head. Amen. But she had the spirit of a bull. She had the spirit of a bull. Why do I say a bull? Because a bull, it don't matter how much you try to control it. It don't matter how much you try to 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 get that bull and every other animal on the same page. If that bull don't want to do what you asking it to do, or what you trying to get it to do, it's gonna do one thing. It's gonna buck up, and it may not get out, and it's gonna try to take you out. I'm just describing a bull so you can understand what I'm trying to show you. Because if you ever see a bull on like Facebook or on social media or whatever, a bull, if a bull get upset, it don't care what's in its way. That, that's what I yeah, that's what I need y'all to hear. A bull will trample what is whatever is in its path. A bull is known to leave behind a path of destruction. Amen. So watch out for them kind of folk. The way they come in, it's like y'all ever heard the term uh, "is the uh, bull in a china shop"? Yeah. Yeah. That's thank you, Holy Ghost, for giving me that. That's what a bull. That's what Jezebel did when it came to the babes in Christ. In other words, when it came to to, to their growth in God, they were still quite fragile. They were still fragile. So Jezebel came in and caused so much destruction. Caught because wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that. In other words, what Jezebel did, Jezebel did exactly like Satan did. Amen. Amen. Did you catch it? Oh, let me remind you. See, Satan, what he did was he came into the kingdom of God. He went into heaven. And when he was cast out, not only was he cast out, but he took a third of heaven with him. Amen. That's right. Say amen. Amen. Now, you right. So the thing is, wow, wow, wow. So the thing is, we think that this thing just happened in the beginning. No, 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 no. Because apparently, this spirit of Jezebel followed all the way to the book of Revelation. That should tell us something. That should tell us this spirit wasn't dealt with. Amen. 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 One of the things I want to just remind us as well about Jezebel, just the study of how she allowed him to use her to manipulate. Mm. Manipulate means to take something and twist it, convert it, yeah. um, take truth and have truth in it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, um, um, uh, uh, almost like a, a counterfeit, if you will. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that Jezebel did, not only did she uh, cause ones to serve other gods, but when she married them, to marry means to become one. And she allowed those spirits to become one. And this is what happens when we try to convert the, um, God's word with another. We cause what's called strange fire. And that thing won't be, it, it will not come to pass. You won't be able to see a full manifestation until it gives birth. Mm -hmm. Then you can see what was uncovered. You can see what was going on. Why are you acting like that? Right. When that child also, I'm, I'm going to use a child for an example. When that child really start acting up, you can see who they've been around. Because they don't matter in other spirit. <laughs> and then mama or daddy will say, you don't sound like that. You sound like pooping down the road. <laughs> they don't mess around and can't work with something else. Yeah. That, and then you ain't got to say, have you been down there? No, they're going to start acting like what they've been around. Amen. They're going to start entertaining what they've been around. And this is why the Bible tells us to have no other God before me. Having those idols mean we put other things on the level where God is at. You ever seen somebody take alcohol and penicillin? Both are strong. But if you combine them, they kill you. It's God. And so this is what we're doing. We're putting things in a place where only God should be. He said, have no other God, only me. We put other things on the same level with God. I did this and this. Amen. Amen. What it reminds Amen. me of is when, 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 when Pastor Michelle was talking, it reminded me when I was a child. When I was a child, what I would do is, uh, one thing about it was you could tell what show I just got finished watching. Because I would act out 
what I saw. So if I just got finished watching Power Rangers, and you see me outside with a big old tree limb, acting like I'm hitting a monster or something, and then if you hear me out there, you know, calling out the different uh, uh, Power Rangers name, come on Red Ranger, Blue Ranger, whatever, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what all I used to do. But you can tell, you didn't have to ask me what I just watched. You knew. If I just got finished wrestling, watching wrestling, and all of a sudden I go outside and I take a step, I would actually take a chair outside and be hitting, 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 you know. Now, me and my cousins, whatever, we was kind of, we, we weren't really wrapped too tight. Now, we ain't never go across each other's head with a, with, with, with a, with a chair, but, 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 but we would grab certain little objects or whatever that we, and we would, you know, Hit each other in a place where we knew, all right, this ain't gonna hurt as much. And grab and, and, and find something that's closest to a table, slam each other through a table. It may not be an actual table, but we'll find something that kind of played a part of it. What am I saying? In that moment, I became one with what I saw. Yes. Okay, let me put it like this. Uh, fornication, why was that word used? I'm glad you asked. Because the thing is, the Bible lets us know that what God put together, let no man put asunder. So now watch this. The Bible also lets us know that when two come together, when God put them together, they become one flesh. Amen. Watch it. So now watch this. We're talking about, uh, and we're we going to mention it, we're going to see it in just a second. But uh, 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 in other words, we should be married to God. So in other words, you can tell how much we've been around God or been around His Word because we should start acting like the Word. We should be acting. There should be a change in our physical uh, 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 appearance and expressions. So, but watch this. Just like when you marry, you can tell if uh, your husband and your wife been around somebody else. Yeah, why do you say that, minister? Because you started to act like somebody else. You started to act like who you laid down with. Amen. Amen. That's all right. Yeah. Amen. Get on the ball with me, y'all. Yeah. You started to act like who you're around. At first, you ain't never had mood swings. Now you angry, you sad, you up, you down, you left, you right. I can't tell where you at, but we supposed to be one. So watch this and really hear it. Even if you ain't slept with somebody else, you still been with somebody. Say it back. Say it You act like somebody else. You're not acting like yourself. Amen. I was about to tell y'all to say something, but I ain't trying to open up nothing again. But you gonna act like who you been around, Apostle. Yeah, uh, when your children go to school, either they go get, they go get with the buddies, or they go bring some of that buddy home, and the mama don't know. The mama don't, don't know. She know how her child is acting. You have to explain what's wrong. That's why the child will tell you, it's a good on the end that do. It's a boy that do it. They keep on pushing, pushing, pushing. I don't want to join them. I don't want to get with them. If you want to get with them, and you will let the mama know they have a problem. They have a problem. If you don't get with the team, because every, every place you go, there's a, there's a game. There's a game in school. I don't care what, who your child is. Either you're going to give it the game, or you're going to be a strong monster. Stand up there. You're going to stand up there. And, and yeah, I mean, that way, that way, that's why we got the Holy Ghost in us. And we don't bow down to everything. Amen. And if children don't have the Holy Ghost like, like it is, I mean, Bill and Fred and Mary, they're out there to get you. Right. They're out there, they out there to turn you around. Hey, don't, don't, don't be slow. And don't, don't be slow talking slow. If you talking slow, they'll run a game on you. 
They say, pay, talk about that thing. She, she'll show you how to go in there and whoop, whoop some more of the teacher in a minute. Show you how to get, get by that teacher. Everything. Right. Oh, you did it. How you did it? Child, don't worry about watching you. You ain't, you ain't. Everything you found on the you do, you watch the lady. Just be careful. Amen. Be careful. Mm-hmm. It's going on right now. Amen. Be careful. You don't need no people going That's right. That's right. Uh, I just want to say, um, I want to go back just to what you were saying about Noah, first of all, and looking at um, verse 17, where you had said, if we can slow it down, okay, because this is good, where he said, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit, capital S, mm-hmm. say to the church. See, it's easy for us as adults sometimes to look at our young people. Amen. But let's go with what God is saying right here in the Word. He said to the churches, and therefore we got to have the leaders Mm -hmm. who would take a stand and teach the Word against Jezebel. Amen. And once the leaders themselves do that, then the church, the youth, can fall into line. But it's the leaders that I see is allowing everything and anything coming to the church. And that's what this is talking about right now today. Because I like what you said up there. You have said, listen on the screen. So here, God is revealing and saying, I want to tell you, are you listening? Because you have allowed this to come into the church. And you have allowed all of this to go on. Now you want to blame the young people. But I'm talking to you leaders. You have allowed this to come in. I like what you said about Noah. Because Noah sought God. We don't find them want to pray and seek God today. They want to buy a word. Or they want to do the hoop. I can hoop. But we got to teach our youth. Amen. And we got to show them the right way Amen. and stop blaming them. So we got to encourage them. Yeah. But it's the leaders. Amen. God lead the way. Amen. 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 Psalms 119, verse 9, or I believe I'm calling the right verse. But it says it best. It says, Where were y'all shall a young man? Hello. How, where, let me go there for just a second. I'm just go there for a second and make sure I'm, I'm on court and right. Come on, let the Lord have his way. But Psalms, Psalms, chapter, Psalms 119, because I know, I know where it's at. I just want to make sure I'm court and right. But Psalms 119, Psalms 119, Verse 9, yeah. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Hello. By taking what? By taking heed yes. thereto according to thy word. How is it that we're going to get, get, get our act together? That, that's, that's what they used to say. Get your act together. How, how are we going to do that? Act, in other words, your act is the is root word of actions. What you do. How are we going to get that together? Right. We got to have the word. Come on now. And the word has to be taught. Yeah. The word can't be just ran over and no, 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 no. But the Bible clearly says, in all thy getting, get an understanding. Amen. So in, thank you, Holy Spirit. So in other words, it ain't enough to just read the scriptures. But are you getting a revelation, yes. which is what we're reading tonight? Right. Are you getting a revelation of what you are reading? Somebody may say, well, well, well give me a scripture to back up that statement. All right, I'm glad you asked. The Bible says, men shall not live by bread alone. That word bread means logos. In other words, the written word of God. It ain't enough to just live by what you read. But Rhema, in other words, the revealed word from God. Amen. Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So in other words, as I read the word, I should be 
hearing the word. Amen. Why did he say it like that? Because the word is God. The word was with God. The word was God. Amen. 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 So, look at verse 20 in Revelation chapter 2. It says, now, notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou uh, 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 suffereth that woman, Jezebel, which calleth herself, which calleth herself a prophetess to teach and to seduce my servants, yes. and to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. I want to deal with that for just two seconds. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't enough to just twist their understanding. Mm -hmm. But you got them all the way to the point to where now they're indulging in things that has to do with idol worship. Mm -hmm. How easy can it be for us to uh, 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 say that we love God, go to church, read the Bible, works of God, and then all that we do with God and for God, but yet somebody can come and swindle the people, swindle our minds to think that certain things are okay. All right. Let me help you. Amen. It is not okay to live in sin and to serve God. You can't do it. Look at somebody and tell them you can't do it. You can't do it. You cannot do it. I don't care what they're trying to tell you. Oh, well, 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 you know, it's all right if you just, you know, just lay down with them one time. I mean, it's been a while since you got some. I mean, it's been, I mean, it, 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 it's been a while since you got some. You had a long day, so go ahead and just, you know, drink, 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 just go ahead and drink. Just go ahead and drink till your heart is full. Just go ahead and drink and get drunk. I'll make sure you, I'll make sure you get to bed. I'll make sure you be all right. Don't you know that that's how people become addicts? It, let me go ahead and say it, and I, I don't care how nobody feel about it. But what gets you in trouble is not the alcohol, but it's the feeling of being drunk. Now, I know what I'm talking about. The alcohol is not what gets you. It's the feeling. This is why the Bible is clear about being against drunkenness. Because you can get uh, addicted to the feeling. Hello. It's the feeling. It is the feeling of being drunk. Of, 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 of not being of a sober mind. Right. In other words, you're numb. Amen. 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 Look, the moth want to get the word too. Uh, Message Bible says like this. It says, but why do you let that Jezebel who calls herself a prophet mislead my dear servants? Into cross denying self indulging religion. So, in other words, Jezebel not only misled the people, but she taught her own doctrine. This is why I quote the scripture earlier that, uh, that, 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 that they will be tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. Because they teach it now that it's okay. I'm not trying to go there. I'm really not trying to go there. But they teach it that it's okay for you to sleep around and still play the keyboard. And they teach it that. And, and they say, oh, it's quiet. It's, it, they say it's okay for you to get drunk and you for you to just be all laid out on perks and all that kind of stuff. Right. Taking acid or whatever. Oh, now you're wondering why you just so just almost like a zombie. No, 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 no. You gotta live your life. Talk about, oh, well, you, you, you sometimes you gotta take a little something so you can escape from reality. The devil is a liar. Verse 21. He says, and I gave her space to repent of her fornication. So there are some things that's about to come to Jezebel, right? And the thing is, before he even gets into talking about what's about to come, he makes it very clear. I gave her room to get it right. Mm. 
I gave her space and time to get it together. And matter of fact, let's not, I don't want to just put it to gender because I know Jezebel in first Kings was a woman, but I want to deal with the spirit. The spirit of Jezebel has been warned. You've had time to get it right. You had a chance to get it right. This ain't the first time you heard to repent. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This ain't the first time you heard it. Verse 21, he says, I gave her space and I gave her space to repent of her fornication and she repented not. She straight up rejected, maybe not verbally, but through her actions. You sure? No, you, you're not truly sorry. Because let me deal with what really what repent really means. Repent is not I'm sorry. Can I help you? Amen. But you can say it. Repent is not I'm sorry. Repent means to turn. Look it up. The actual biblical definition of repent is not I apologize. But to repent means to turn. It means, in other words, uh, 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 the Bible made it very clear about fornication. The Bible says to flee fornication. Yeah, right come here, Joseph. That's right. When Potiphar's wife was coming out of that boy, yeah. that Negro literally ran. <laughs> no, ran. Never. He took clean off. <laughs> he ran. Because he knew if I stick around long enough, see, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You ain't got to talk. You ain't got to talk. Because I've been in that situation before. I've been in that situation before. Where I've had somebody running after me. Ran. To clean off. We did all. Because I know if I stay around here long enough. If I stay around here long enough. And get the touch and the feeling, and all right. Something gonna happen. All saints said it like this: you, you, you mess with fire, you're gonna get burned. So let me really come on down the middle lane and say this. So for those of y'all who are in the midst of dating or whatever, no touch, no, no. Amen. Oh, man, yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me, now this Jonathan, this Jonathan, this Jonathan. Oh, what I always say is, be careful of your touching when you're by yourselves. Oh, I'll at least say it like that. Because, now, now look, I'm going to just, I'm going to just keep it real with you. I'm going to say what a lot of people ain't okay with saying. I don't see nothing wrong with a, with, with a hug. Maybe once she asks you to come official, you, you, you may have a little kiss or two. Yeah. But hey, there don't need to be in the bedroom now. I'm just trying to help you. In the dark. In the dark. Oh, come on. Come on. Dark. Come on. Come on. In the dark. Mama, can, can he come over? Can, come, come. No. In the dark. By yourself. Well, we just going to watch a movie. Okay. Well, uh, you got to make sure you're still at home. Call yourself be a 
said my boyfriend came to church. <laughs> Thank God, y'all, yeah, I need y'all to be six foot apart. <laughs> Hey, don't, don't be doing that in the house of the Lord. I need y'all to spread that out. Spread. Come on over here and give me a hug. You're sitting too close. And I didn't like it. I was like, but now I understand there's a standard that she expected out of us. And it, what she's taught us in God's house is how she expected to see us outside of God's house. Because she, she's seen us in the, mall, in the Walmart. She's seen us in the mall. How you doing, sister? <laughs> They're too close. Angelus, I ain't gonna ever get married. I ain't gonna ever talk to nobody. And then, Pops, yeah, I, I came to. I, I don't, I, I can't say it's old folks are too strict. No, I, 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 mean, I, I can't say it's too strict. They had their reasons. So the old folks are there. We, we, you, you know, people go to Cotfield, pick Cot, oh, we gone. Yeah. Uh, uh, in the kind of field, the sun of the sun mm -hmm. And the weekend, you got sand and sun. And uh, they know they they know the women's one. <laughs> they know the women, the women that got, they got a little bit of duck. Yeah. But let me tell you, but you know what the, the old folk would do? I, I mean that was too that was, I think that was too cool. They all sit right there while that boy come in there and, and set that woman right where he the old boy he see. And the moves she makes. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And the moves she makes. And, and, and listen, listen every time she say. And uh, and uh, you 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 see him watching. You see him. Okay. If you kiss them, but you kiss that woman you want, you might kill her a butt shot or something. <laughs> they ain't play around. The old boy didn't play around. And, and uh, at a certain time of night, honey. And you hear you you hear them when time to go. And if, if a minute, if a minute or two minutes, you hear <coughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. one, that that that's super low. You hear that. <laughs> oh, they go from the house and start cutting right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You hear that? <laughs> you you that boy, that boy. The show got dark.
Because the thing is simply this. Uh, if I'm going to talk about, if I'm, I'm going to encourage you to get married, right? If I'm going to encourage you to get married, I at least need you to understand what it is to know how to look for the right one. See, this is why uh, certain ones who were here when we, when we talked about uh, those certain things about dating, even when we did our relationship series uh, maybe about a couple months ago, we, in the proper series, we talked about what to look for. Amen. Say amen. amen. We taught those biblical principles of what we should be looking for in a significant other. So this is why, especially to the youth, this is why to I, I know at least, this is why I, 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 if I were to find out that they're dating, that wouldn't phase me. Or when they do, it wouldn't phase me. Why? Because they've been taught. They've been taught. Don't, don't, listen, them fast talking jokers talk about, oh, you look so beautiful. I've been told that before. So that ain't gonna go to my head. I need to identify who you really are. Say that. I need to know what I'm really. I'm coming up. I'm coming up. I, I need to identify what's in front of me. Yes. We need to have some conversations. See, y'all remember this from the Proverbs series. We need to have certain conversations. What's what, what, what's your five year plan? That's it. No, you need to have. Con that's what dating is. Y'all. Okay, I'm gonna say this statement, and I'm see y'all remember it. Dating is literally interviewing. Right. That's right. That's what it is. It's an interview. When you go on a date, that is an interview. You don't just sit, listen, let me, this is why I'm against your dates being in a movie theater. Amen. Because where, where the conversation is going to happen at? You need to sit down. Look, I, 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 I know this is the Texas generation. I understand. This is the snapping and the chatting. Yeah, I understand. But we need to have conversation. I need to know. What's in your mind? What's your eye, what's your intentions with me? Watch this and hear it well. Are are you prepared to leave me as a husband? Come on. Oh come on. Right. Are you prepared? Come on. And wife, are you prepared to follow? Come on. Amen. Do you have trust issues? Come on. And I'll say this is really even alone. This is something that I said during the proper series, and I'll say it again. You got to know and have certain conversations to know one or two things. Either are you okay with sticking with this person until that area change? Or on the flip of the coin, if they never change in that area, are you okay with that too? Yeah. See, 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 see all that. Oh, I love him and now you see all that window out the window just now? Because that's real conversation. Oh, look at somebody and say real conversation. Because Lord knows I done messed up too many times. Talking about, oh, I believe it's my wife. Yeah, pray the Lord, I found her. And mess around with all that puppy love and all I love her and, 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 and she means so much to me. Now, now, now in my head out the clouds. Now I can see for myself. You ain't the one. No, you, you show nothing the one. No, 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 cause, cause you ain't got no watch, watch it and hear it clear from last week. Uh, cause you don't exhibit no love, you ain't got no joy, no peace, no long suffering. You ain't got no fruit, but yet you think that me and you will be one? The devil is a liar. What? I got love, but you hate everybody. Or you got certain ones that you hate and you ain't even trying to find forgiveness in your heart. See, I got a problem with that. Apostle. I'll say it this year again. I said it. I said in the old days, uh, if, if, anybody, if anybody's 60, 60 years old, I think you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, you didn't see that boy, man, until you got to play 72. Uh -huh. I, I didn't know what I'm talking about. When you go to church, you ain't see no man unless you go to the church. Mm -hmm. on, on that, boy, we would get them cues, trying up, and get my pants that hole in them, what they were throwing up. The first sign, I'd be, I'd be, my cues might have a hole in it, but they'd be piling on the front, looking good. I'm going, I mean, the hole be the cues, 
But the first time you go in there that cut, and boy, you see that dude. <laughs> yes. First time. Yes, sir. Yes. Ooh, Lord, how much? She do. Quit the eyes at y'all. Quit the eyes at her. Because we won't see no more until the next place, Until the next Next place, Sunday. I mean, he was, I mean, that was bad, boy. I mean, that was wrong. But, but, but you didn't see too many, no, no baby was always popped up. But no baby popped up and all that stuff. And everybody went, they, when they, 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 they went to school, they graduated and everything, and they went, went off and, and I'm gone. Now, in the old days, if you got pregnant, you could have stayed out. <laughs> they say you all. You were just going to the family. Mm -hmm. It's in y'all. Up to up New York. When you come back, you, you, had, you, you, you had one. When you come back, you two. And you did you, 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 you leave them somewhere. But that's just going to the family. Amen. Mm -hmm. But now, how many babies I want? They ain't saying nothing about it. Nobody said nothing. But I said they had a good spirit. All the time you you might you might see a friend if grandma if you're down with grandma at the walk at the, at the walk down at the walk the clothes. That's the only way you see with she he was praying to the clothes. That's the only way you see that boy that next first time. And I mean it's but what no the boss, all that? What no the boss? When you got married, that preacher married, and that preacher, yeah, he 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 will he will miss a widow boy. That Mr. Fred boy, a Mr. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Daniel Gurd, that that good, that good, that good, that, that good is all right. Yeah, I, that, you got he got he got the part now. The preacher got no care. Hey man, I, I'm talking about that, that 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 way it was. Sorry, and I'll even say this. I, I, I one thing that I do love because now I, I have a lot of old school tendencies. But one of the things that I definitely stand on, especially when it comes to believers in Christ, and I even go as far as whenever it comes to the women of this ministry, uh -huh. there ain't no reason unless he didn't, unless he didn't went completely in left field. I mean, unless he didn't went completely left field, there's no reason why the conversation of the divorce should come up. Why is that? Because it's been taught. Amen. So this is why I let our girls know simply. Amen. I, I, you ain't got to worry about no problems with me when you date. But if I find out <laughs> that you dated somebody that is completely against what the word of God says, Amen. we gonna have a problem. That's just what it is. There's going to be a problem. That's what it is. You talk about, you see a future with him, but he don't like to come to church. There is a problem. He talking about how he want to take you on a date, but he can't take you to prayer. Can't come to church. Can't come to church. He talk good, but when it comes to the word of God, Y'all ain't got no conversation. There's a problem. Amen. Amen. You should be building him up and he, vice versa. Right. Oh, come on. Amen. Come on. I'm just giving a bother, y'all. There is no reason. And let me, let me go ahead and encourage y'all. He's out there. Right. No, let me encourage you and let you know he's out there. Cause I, hallelujah. Cause I've come to find out for myself. Amen. I don't care what the age is. Right. You can find a companion that loves God now. Amen. I'm telling you, but you can't settle for the imposter. That's right. That's right. I, I, I know, I know we didn't digress from the lesson. I know we have, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back into it. And I'm gonna let you go. But you can find somebody that loves God now. Amen. I'm telling you, you can. You can find somebody that loves God. Because I'm going to let my wife know simply, the day you want to leave God, you go and kiss me goodbye. Matter of fact, ain't going to be no kiss. Just, just goodbye. So
and we, 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 no, ain't, ain't gonna be no, as the old church, I say, ain't gonna be no hanky panky. <laughs> ain't gonna be no, we laying up in the bed and we touching it. No. No, 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 no. Because one word, one message that I've always heard our apostle preach for years, and that's simply, flesh is a mess. Yes, it is. Amen. Ain't, ain't gonna be none of that touching and rubbing in the dark. Mess around and you, and you start some fire. Yeah. Yeah. Start some fire. Yeah. Mess around and you, and, and you get hot. Yeah. Your palms start sweating. Yeah. Heart start racing. Yeah. Oh, I ain't never been kissed like that before. He ain't never grabbed me like that. Okay. Yeah. But what I am saying is that dating teaches you discipline. Yeah. That's the one part I want to say, and I'm coming right to Sister, Sister Betty. But dating really, truly teaches you discipline. Yeah. I mean, show up discipline. Come on now. Dating will show you, all right, we, we just need to, this show you how to refrain. That's right. Come on. We ain't got all we need. Look, uh, 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 uh. Dating will teach you discipline. <laughs> yes, it will. All right. Dating will teach you discipline. It'll show you again certain things. See certain things. See certain things that I've adopted, like not talking to um, the opposite sex after ten o'clock. That's not Bible, but that is Jonathan. That's what Jonathan has learned along the way. You understand? Those are things that I learned along the way because I know the I know the, the 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 importance of not letting your good be evil spoken of. Amen. There's no reason why we should be on the phone after a certain time of night. I'm saying, you say, that should be rule number one. Are you saying? Where are you with God? I ain't saying you got to be perfect, but are you working out your own soul salvation? With fear and trembling? Where, where are you at with God? Dating will teach you discipline. It'll show you dating will get you to the place where you get to learn that person. And yes, you're not going to know everything through dating. Some things you're going to learn when you get married. But the thing is, dating is now a presentation. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving me like that. Give it to me like that. Dating is a presentation. You're now showing me what, who you are, what you bring. I need to know these things before we go into a point of wanting to be married and together. Amen. I need to, we need to uh, praise his holy name. We need to uh, 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 show. I need to see. I need to see. Amen. Sister Betty. Yes. I know when my father passed, that's what I want. Yeah, 
down, you got to let them pray. Hello. Sometimes you got to let them be mom. Yeah. yeah. You got to let them do it. That's right. That's right. Pray to me. That's right. And like my mom said, y'all be like the cats out there. <laughs> y'all have all them things. <laughs> A man that don't work, don't eat. Don't don't Amen. And, that, and this is where we come to a close at. But, uh, and we'll pick it back up next week. I know we only got maybe three verses. I wanted to finish it out, but if it's all right, the Holy Spirit said to let it go for the rest of the night. But the thing is, because this thing got good to where we really got into something here. But the point in all this is, again, you cannot uh, thank you, Holy Ghost. You cannot allow somebody or any spirit, let me make it very clear, do not allow anybody or any spirit to make you start taking down yes. from what the Word of God says. Amen. Don't take down right. man or spirit. When I say man, I mean man or woman. The Bible uses that term a lot. Where it says we're talking to man, but he's actually talking about man and woman. Right. Amen. Amen. Don't allow no man, no woman, no spirit to make you take down from what the Bible says. Right. Oh, school said like this. I know the Bible is right, and somebody showed up wrong now. Trying to say that everything is acceptable now. I put a post up on Facebook the other day. This world is becoming so doggone wicked. Amen. Yes, it is. And it's, it, 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 it's bad now. Yes, it is. No, it's been bad, but it's like when you finally, right. that realization really dawned on you, it's bad. That's it. Right. The Bible talks about how the time come where mother is going to be against daughter, father against son. Kingdom going against kingdom, nation against nation. Wars and rules of wars. This is the time where we're at. And this ain't the time to take down for nothing. For nothing. Do not allow anybody, any spirit to swindle you. That's the word I hear. To swindle you outside of the will of God. I, I'm trying to warn you now. Because, I mean, these, it's man and spirit that will speak so smooth. Yes. All right, let me, let me really open you up. The, up the guard to eat it. That serpent knew how to talk now. I mean, that serpent knew how to talk. There was no touching him all. It was all conversation. I'm trying to show you something. Conversation. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. I love to play with words, watch it. Convert. Sation. Convert. Convert. Sation. Convert. Sation. Who turned who to what? Maybe you're going to turn me. Oh, praise his holy name. Amen. <laughs> hey, hello. Watch your conversation. That's right. What are we talking about? Are, are we talking about the things of God? Are we? See, I gotta let it go. Y'all. I gotta let it go. I want to let you go on. But we listen. I see all this stuff in Proverbs is just flooding back to me. But I'm gonna let it go. I promise I am. But the thing is, I got a problem. If we together or we around each other and all we can do is just cut up and then have fun, but we ain't never talk about the things of God. Every time I got something about God to talk about, you 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 just shut down. You just you you ain't you can't reciprocate. And see, there gotta be a reason why Holy Ghost has us here, because maybe this maybe this coming time for some of y'all in here to be dating so. So this got to be why he has me here and why I can't let it go. Hello. Amen. Amen. And my job on tonight, Hanukkah, Hoshaya. And my job on tonight is to warn you. All right. Amen. 
Don't you let that spirit of Jezebel swindle you. Yes. Jesus told Peter like this, Satan desires to seek him. Yes. Right. Come on, y'all. Right. Trying to get you out of church. Trying to get, oh, whoa, God. Get you out of the hands of God. Right. You better watch your conversation. I'll go as far as to say this without getting too deep into it because I, there's a good bit of stuff that I have been exposed to when it comes to the book of Genesis. Now the thing is the Bible lets us know that one day with God is in a thousand years. Right? Amen. So watch this. Now, 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 the Lord and Adam, they talked for a long time. So there's a good chance that during the time where Adam and God were talking, and even Satan was talking, could we suggest that that conversation was not just a day? That conversation went on for a while. What am I saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? It's that long conversation. We talk yeah. for a long time. Yeah, we lingering. Yeah. When you realize, when you realize, when you realize, that this person is not talking like God, then they don't sound like God. That ain't the time to try to sit around and try to say, oh well, you know, I, I know how I, I know how to just back up and just, you know, God bless y'all, I love y'all. But it, that ain't the time to just be like, oh well, you know, well maybe I can save them. Maybe I can maybe I can bring them to church and get them right. Okay. That's what that's that, that what I've been saying. Y'all your folks. That's what I'll say. Yes, sir. Y'all your folks. If you if you, if you got it, try to if you talking to a friend, try to try to give you cousin to you. That's that. If you talking to a friend, that's all I want you to tell. Try to give you cousin to you. If you talking to a friend, try to give you cousin to you. Yes, sir. That that that's what I want to say to you. Try to give you cousin to you. Don't don't drop it. That's throw him throw him. You if you work on him, try to give him cousin to you. You might get the same. That that's all I want to say. And that wasn't just for the uh, that just wasn't for the youth. Oh, let me let me make sure that's clear now. That wasn't just for the youth. That's for the adults that are dating too. Amen. Reason why I say an old fool, and I 
I'm using Proverbs terms as far as fool. When I say an old fool, in other words, what I'm saying is that you may be very close to a reprobate mind. Why, why, why say that? Because when I say old, I'm talking about time. Yeah. Time, 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 time. You've been in this thing for a while. And you know better. Yet you don't do that. Alright. The Bible, God let it very, made it very clear. I turn you over. Uh -huh. Conversation. I'll turn you over. Hey Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Anybody else have any comments? Anybody else? Amen. We so, we we amen. Can we clap our hands and thank God for tonight? Amen. Amen. I know we, we kind of digress from the text a good bit, but, you know, when we started dealing about fornication, you know, going from being one with one to being one with another. That ain't no overnight thing. That's why we went there. No, no, no. I just want us to understand. Well, well they just digressed this whole, they just went so left field from the text. And in all actuality, we did. We really did. Right. No. Because, again, and I'll leave it alone, because my Bible's closed. But, but the thing is, is that Jesus let the particular uh, uh, people know. He said, you allowed her to come in. You allowed her to dwell. You allowed her to stay there and to teach what she teach or, or teach what she taught. You allowed her to do what she wanted to do. You would let her sit among y'all. You became, watch the word play, you became numb to, 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 to any kind of defense to try to go to say, this is wrong. You shut up that side of you. Nobody did stop. And the thing is, anybody who knows about someone who has a strong willed mind, that ain't something you can do in one period, in one conversation. That's why I went to Genesis the way I did. This thing happens over time. The enemy has been working on some of our minds, y'all, to make us feel okay with certain things. And I'm trying to really warn you, but I gotta let you go. But the thing is, is why I say watch your conversation. You got to watch it. Watch what you entertain. Watch. Be careful. Be very careful. Because you'll mess around and become very desensitized. Amen. But I let it go. Uh, if you would like to sow tonight, you can do so. Uh, Facebook, you already know the information is on the page. YouTube, it'll be in the description. Amen. So we thank God. We bless God tonight. Uh, can we once again clap and thank God for this night, for this opportunity again? Amen. Amen. To once again be in the house of God, to worship together, to break bread together. Amen. This was an honor to be able to do this once again. I don't take it for granted, y'all. Tomorrow is not promised. Amen. So every, hallelujah. For every chance that I get to be in the house of God, Woo, I got a little thing about I feel the dance in my right foot just now. But every time I get a chance to be in the house of God, every chance I get to be able to breathe, I thank God. It is a blessing. Amen. So again, God bless you all who's come and who's joined us on live. Can we stand as we get ready to dismiss? Amen. Yes. Yes. Come in. I didn't got on my job. You know, I'm done. Amen. But let's stand as we get ready to dismiss for the hour is far spent. Amen. And so, uh, Father God, in Jesus' name, God, we thank you, Lord, for once again allowing us the opportunity to come and to worship and to uh, break bread and to hear what you, Holy Spirit, have to say to us on tonight. God, we don't take it for granted. God, we thank you, Lord, for taking us out the rest of this week and for covering us in your precious blood. God, we thank you and we praise you. And as we leave this place, oh God, but never your presence, oh God, because we can't leave your presence. But God, we just thank you. We ask you, Lord, to go with us as, as we go about the rest of this week. Lead us, guide us. Let this word still burn on the inside. 
Amen. Let his word still burn on the inside. That we'll remember what you said on tonight. That we'll remember what we learned. And that we won't take it for granted that this word did not fall on deaf ears. On deaf ears. But God, we thank you, Lord, that it will stick. And that we'll go with it and we'll run on and see what the end is going to be. So God, we thank you and we praise you. And we'll be ever so careful to give you name all the glory, honor, and praise that is due your name. And it is your son Jesus that we pray to everybody say. Amen. 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 We will see you all again on Saturday. Saturday at 12. We'll be here Saturday at 12. Amen. So if you can join us, if you join us on live or if we go live or join us and then we'll be back here Sunday morning as well at 11. Amen. So God bless.